Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Where we last left off, we picked up Pharaoh, a new party member. And I think she's going to be advantageous here, specifically against the robots. Because she also has the Circuit Breaker ability. She disables a mechanical enemy for one turn. Ducks has that as well. And then Borman's got Hog Rush. So we have three different ways of knocking these guys down. Her boomstick also has 50% um, chance to disable robotic enemies, like Dux's crossbow. Oh, he only has 20% chance. It's got 50% chance? Oh, I almost want to go throw that on the pistol for now. We'll see. First off, we're going to take out this bot. Let's go! I guess he saw us at the last second. I think we're close enough, or I'm sorry, far enough away from the enemies, though. You don't know who you're messing with. That's from me. Oh, with that 50% chance, that'll be, oh, that'll be awesome. So it looks like we're far enough away that that's not going to, our gun noises aren't going to draw the enemies. Which means we can take this guy out pretty easily. Lovely. Get your asses over here. Hey, we leveled up again. Ooh. Elysium Driver 100. One additional critical damage and a 100% chance to knock back enemies. Ancient drill unit which can be mounted to any weapon. Hmm. A 100% chance to knock them back. Knockback is nice, but it's not exactly necessary. Because apart from knocking them back, it doesn't actually do anything. Let's get up here on this train see what we can find. Because there's some enemies over there that we at least want to try and take them out. And high ground is always better. Plus, scrap. How many enemies? So we have a police bot over there, police bot enforcer there, and it looks like a third one just out of range that we can't see. If we can get them all together, we can hit them with an EMP. Huh. But we don't have very much range with our with our boom sticks. 75 out of range and out of range. So yeah, I'm not sure. We should probably take out that police bot that's gonna wander over there first. And then we should probably try and get in close and take out those other police bots. Especially with our 50% chance to. Yeah, let's try that. We have not been spotted. Lovely. So let's use Ducks first to see if his 20% chance to incapacitate them works. Oh, does that hurt? It didn't. So now we can hog rush him or we can do circuit breaker. Because we're definitely not far enough away for them not to hear us. We'll do Circuit Breaker. Get up close. I'm the hero, you're the zero. Down below. Okay, so we should be able to take him out no problem now. Get some. 
Awesome. That's one less bot to deal with. Follow me. Three scrap. Lovely. I wonder, are they close enough together that we can hit them? With an EMP grenade? And maybe not from that angle. Hmm. Wait here. Maybe we should split up, get ducks up high on that truck, and have the other ones. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna have a uh, Pharaoh and Borman down here so they can get in close. Really wish there was a faster, easier way to get up on stuff, but this will have to do. It's not like it takes forever. Just a little longer than I'd like for it to. So let's put you there. Foreman will hide here. Just in case something goes wrong, we'll have you hide here. So Dux has the extra throwing range because of his uh, police armor. And with the EMP grenade, that should do the trick. Should. Being the ever operative word. Yes, yeah, so that should knock them both out for this two turns? Three turns? Let's see. Four turns? And then we can just unload on them. 50%, 50%. So yeah, let's move in and make these shots count. Who are we caught sneaking by? I am the beautiful weapon. What do you think about that? Again, who are we caught sneaking by? That's the wrong gun. It's alright, we still have a couple of turns. Let's see what Ducks can do. What's his range like? Oh, he's good. And I love how much his crit chance goes up while we're hanging out in high ground. Did she just call him a jizz wipe? Jeez. Gotcha. Let's reload real quick. That worked out incredibly well. And we're up another level, so that's what, five levels? Four levels since we started here? Over here? Got some scrap. Another EMP grenade, so we didn't even lose anything in that fight. And we still have extra EMP grenades. Heck yeah. I haven't even used that smoke grenade. That's the one he started with. It's nice to have, just in case, but... So it looks like there's one more guy up here. Which honestly I'm not too worried about. Something important was going down here. I feel it in the air. Welcome to your future. Welcome to your future. <laughs> oh, wrong button. That was dumb. Whoops. Expert level strategies here, guys. That's right. No EMP, but that's some hella damage. Gotcha. 
I think this is the only enemy left, so I see no reason not to take him out with our good guns. Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye. Hey, over here. Got some more scrap. It looks like there's something else up there. And over there. I don't see any other enemies on the map. Or at least on the compass. Weapon parts. See those ruins in the distance? They call it the Forbidden City. You don't want to know why. Oh, I absolutely want to know why. Another smoke grenade. Okay, so we definitely want to check that out. At least unlock it on the map so we can fast travel there. We got a key, which I can only assume is for this. Yep. And Borman has been conquered by a door. Thank you for writing. We appreciate your... You appreciate my what? I must know. Med kit. Awesome. Oh, we're getting so much good stuff here. Grenades. Med kits. Tons of scrap. We didn't have very much scrap at all when we came here. So I think we've done a pretty exhaustive search of this place. I'll probably go back and search it again off camera, just every nook and cranny. I'll let you know what I find if I find anything at all. But let's definitely go unlock this next area. Travel, gentlemen, and lady. Hmm. Where are we? The Castle of Light. In the midst of a dark forest, a group of structures can still be perceived among heaps of rubble. It's said that this is, was, <laughs> wait, what? It is said that this is, was, a place where people used to work and build things. A couple of months ago, one of the buildings suddenly started to emit a powerful light, and nosy bypassers have been known to disappear ever since. Ooh, level 50. Oh, man. This is one of the areas that I was talking about that now we're a high enough level that we can actually go check out. So we're probably going to do that relatively soon. Um, it looks like we've uncovered a lot of the map. Which makes me sad, because that means we're getting closer to the end. Happy sad, you know? Like, happy because we're making progress, but sad because that means there won't be any more new game. Uh... What you got? Multiple targets. Not even sure how that works, so I don't care. I mean, it says sneak between covers. Seems pretty simple, but I don't know. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. It doesn't seem to be... a glimmer of hope to a world of chaos. Join me and help bring light back to the zone. Come to me. Come to Lux. I don't... Did you hear that voice? That was weird. Keep your guard up. Take a chill pill, all right? If the voice wants to bring light to the zone, I'm all for it. All in, me. Come on, let's find this Lux. I don't think I want to do that. You know it's not going to go well. It never goes well. Any enemies yet? That makes me kind of nervous, too. Why aren't there bad guys? There are always bad guys. Hey, got some scrap. I love the areas. They're so... varied and well-detailed. Like, uh, I remember the snow area we were in. And this is cool. It's like a 
Yeah, stuff up there. Let's uh, let's keep searching a little bit first. I love these rundown cities. They're very interesting. I'm really curious how long. Uh. How long this takes place after? Oh crap! Welcome to the Castle of Light. Hello. <laughs> Forgive me for not providing the illumination this castle is known for. I pray that someday we will once again become a beacon of light for weary travelers. I like nice your hat. Way. You got a nice place here. Would your name happen to be Lux? We heard you outside. Lux, I am. You say you heard my voice in the zone? Quite interesting. Perhaps the fates brought you here. You look strong, well armed. You get things done, yes? Hells yes. We're stalkers. We take everything the zone throws at us and then some. Then I humbly request your assistance. There is a pack of renegade ghouls who wish to keep the zone in darkness. They stole the key to the sacred sanctum where the lights get their power. <laughs> Perhaps you can help me recover this key from the ghouls. It's a special key. You wouldn't miss it. Return it to me and I'll reward you handsomely. <laughs> I like handsome rewards. We'll deal with the ghouls and get your keys. I don't think I trust him. Is that the ghoul? That's two tanks. Good lord. Let's keep exploring. And then we'll we'll see what happens with that key. Gotta be something in here. Aha. That's interesting. We haven't run into very many, if any, people that are not uh, hostile. And you look at the compass there at the top, they show up as blue. Wish we could climb up here and take them out. Now this may be a job for Magnus. So we can mind control those guys. We'll see. Hey, that Lux guy seemed pretty cool, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Seems like he can be a friend. I don't have friends. Well, except you lot. But another friend would be cool. Lux's Aww. lights are a beacon of hope for the zone. Let's turn them back on. We're gonna have to convince those ghouls to give us back the key. And it looks... Hey, some scrap. Looks like there's another area we can go in from here to the north. That was a lot of tough ghouls. But if we can get up high, we pot shot them. Some more scrap. Lovely, delicious scrap. We should rescue Hammond before venturing any further into the zone. Why? Should we actually rescue Hammond before venturing any further? Or is that just something you say to help me remember we need to rescue Hammond? You must gather your party before venturing forth. Let's go ahead and unlock this, just so we've got it for fast travel. The Unenlightened. I think this is maybe actually where we're supposed to go for those ghouls. I don't know. We'll, we'll check it out, too. That's a chainsaw. I don't... 
I don't know if that's good. Hey. Got some scrap. So we can't get in here, can we? So I guess those are like guards. Well, I'm glad I don't have to fight those guys because uh, they look tough. I'm curious. If we wanted to fight Lux, is that even an option? It does not appear so. His outfit's dope. Hmm. So, should we go ahead and go do the Unenlightened? Keep heading down to rescue Hammond? Or should we go back up here to the Rotworn? Let's do the Unenlightened. Then I think I want to check out the Rot Warren. Then we'll proceed on that away towards Hammond. Because this is a dead end. Hello, tractor. So this is like a logging camp. Weapon parts. Lovely. Oh, that makes me wonder. What about her boomstick? It's already level 2. Okay. We need a lot more weapon parts. Oh, I thought that was a bad now, guy. Why the hell would someone cut trees down and put them in neat little piles? Weird. Let's find Lux's key and get out of here. <laughs> I imagine that does appear weird if you're unfamiliar with logging. So there's a whole bunch of ghouls up that way. <laughs> the look on Lux's face when we robbed him blind. I love being a ghoul. The look on his face when we stole his key. Now his slaves are trapped in the power room, and he can't make his pretty lights go on. <laughs> Dama! We should go back there, see if he hires us again, then steal more! His powers would fry our brains. You saw his slaves, nothing in their hands. So shut up and relax. Huh. So, he melts people's brains. That's not good. Let's wait for this butcher to come back our way and then ambush him. Come on, butcher. This away. Shouldn't be any problem taking him out real quick. Give up now and I'll go easy on ya. Uh, uh oh. Alright, let's make sure you get in a 100% position to attack. Much better. Stay down. That was awesome. Leveled up again. Lovely. Me. Let's keep searching this way. Oh. Dead guy on top of the thing is kind of spooky. On top of the tractor bed. So we can go farther? Whoa. Uh. Uh. That's a giant mech. I don't care how stupid it is. I have to fight it. Hello. Oh my god. Target data ACFS loaded. Neutralize all mutant intruders. Can I knock him down? What you got? 
You can. That's interesting. I would not have expected that. Now it's getting fun. God, this guy's got so much armor. Oh, and we EMP got him. Are, are we gonna win? Cannot believe that we just won against that thing. Follow me. That's. I would have stood farther back had I known it was going to cause us damage. Whoa. Sorry, my mind's running a mile a minute. Like, where did that mech come from? Is that part of the, the group of people that were in space? Why did it still work? It sort of still worked. It was missing an arm. I can't believe we killed it. It's nice to know that the EMP stuff works on it, too. I'm. Why does Hog Rush work on it? I already have that hat. Aw, oh, bummer. Those weapon parts are awesome, though. Kind of wish there were more weapon parts on these guys. That was awesome, though. Ooh. Almost missed you. So we almost have enough weapon parts to upgrade to another rank 3 gun. Which will up our damage, and our crit chance, and our range, and all that stuff. Oh, goodness. Can we take that guy out? Ah, I almost wish we had saved Hog Rush now. Yeah. Oh well, I'm not going to load it every time something doesn't go exactly as we want it. So let's see, we've got one tank, a hunter, a, a tank and two hunters up here it looks like. Say don't... my name, Jizzwipe. It's Farrow. <laughs> Why does she keep calling people Jizzwipes? So, six damage, seven damage, so that'll be one short, I think. However, that had to hurt. what does that leave us at? Nine damage. Let's see if we move up here. We should be able to give him the old double tap, twitch shot, and take him out. Hurt, doesn't it? I guess we missed once. Take down that dog bitch, as good as dead. Well, here they come. So that's not really going to work because we've got to take these guys out quietly. We can't fight them all. Not like this, anyways. I am the beautiful weapon. That's from me. <laughs> I 
And then... This should work this time. I mean, he's gotta die. We can't exactly just fight everybody. And this game being outnumbered is basically a death sentence. I don't understand why we keep missing. Well, I mean, we're gonna try it. <laughs> Never mind. Damn it. We'll go about it a different way. Because that seems like it would be so easy. But it's not. A lot of these fights are interesting. It's interesting that we can go and just completely wreck that giant robot. But then three guys are just going to completely destroy us. But we'll definitely check that out next time. So as always, thank you so very much, and uh, hopefully we'll get to fight more giant robots, because that was super cool. We'll see you next time. Bye.